There has been a lot of talk in the recent period about a modern technology, which is virtual reality, especially after the giant Facebook company announced the change of the company's name to Meta. Today's video will tell you everything about virtual reality. What is it? What is its nature? What are its tools? And since when did his idea come? And is it really going to witness a big change in our lives in recent years after Mark announced the new name of the company, Meta? And what does Meta mean? We will explain these questions in detail, but after the introduction. Hello again. Before starting, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to receive all new developments. Our channel is always interested in new developments around the world, how it was in the past and how it became. Define virtual reality. It is a technology that allows the generation of a three-dimensional environment using a computer. It contains realistic scenes and objects that surround the user and respond to them in a natural way. This environment is perceived and interacted with using a head-mounted device that includes a display. Known as virtual reality glasses or helmet, in addition to controllers or gesture recognition that track body movement and give haptic feedback. Virtual reality technologies allow the user to immerse themselves in supporting applications such as video games as if they were a character. Although these technologies seem very modern and futuristic, their history dates back to the mid-1950s, where the first virtual reality device was invented, a machine called Sensorama. It includes a built-in seat and generates vibrations to make the user experience as realistic as possible, and has been used to project 3D movies. It is used in architecture, education, entertainment and psychiatry. And since my channel is interested in talking about the origins of things and the stages of their development, let me tell you about the history of virtual reality since ancient times. The history of virtual reality. It is difficult to determine the beginning of the emergence of virtual reality technology as this depends on many different sources and influences. In addition to the participation of many people at successive periods in the development of this technology, and its concept differs from one period to another, and a clear formulation of the term was not formed until a relatively late period. For the first beginnings before 1900, Panoramic paintings are the first attempts to create a state of illusion and immersion in an environment different from the lived environment. But these paintings were two-dimensional and did not give a sense of depth much until the Scottish scientist David Brewster developed a three-dimensional vision device known as stereoscopic. 1900 to 1960 aviation pioneer edwin link the development of the first flight simulator between 1927 and 1929 known as which represents a simulated environment for reality introduced the first multimedia device in the form of an interactive theater under the name which includes a display screen inside a closed room that displays stereo images, speakers, fans, aroma generators, and a wheelchair. 
The crystallization of this idea between 1960 and 1970. Morton introduced the telesphere mask. The first head-mounted monitor is a single-use telescopic television device that displayed 3D stereoscopic images covering an individual's entire peripheral vision with surround sound. But it was not interactive or motion-tracked. Experience Theater a movie theater with a large aspherical screen that shows 3D moving images, with peripheral vision, directional sound, smells, wind, temperature changes and seat orientation. Three years later, Evan Sutherland, with the help of his student Bob Spruill, introduced the first portable viewing helmet connected to a computer not a camera. In 1969, Myron W. Kruger developed a series of experiments that he called Artificial Reality, which are computer-generated environments that respond to and interact with users, which later led to the development of video place technology that allowed unique interaction of its kind among users in real reality and the virtual environment and in 1983 he published a book under the same name Artificial Reality. NASA worked on various projects for virtual environments and searched for new forms of human-computer interaction. In 1984, computer scientist Lanier, in cooperation with NASA, developed a virtual environment workstation, a stereoscopic system placed on the head. And the term virtual reality was popularized in 1987. The idea spread 1990 to 2000 and began to reach people, and a package of games, an integrated virtual reality systems was launched on a large scale in many countries. You should get the sequence of events and development in the series. In 1999, most companies are interested in games and movies that simulate virtual reality, such as Nintendo, which developed the first portable game console on 3D display. Vixent, developed in the movie The Matrix. And we do not forget the thanks of Google in 2007 to enable us roaming between buildings and streets in 3D. Events moved quickly to see 2009 helmets worn on the head that simulates virtual reality. Then Google announced the year 2014 for Google Cardboard headphones. And in 2015 the Kickstarter company announced gloves that feel and touch. Anything that exists in the virtual world. And Sony announces glasses for Sony PlayStation VR games. And the development continues for the current year. A few days ago, Mark Zuckerberg, the director of the giant company Facebook, announced the change of his company's name to Meta, where this description symbolizes the concept of future versions of the Internet consisting of a three-dimensional space linked and shared with the virtual universe where people around the world can attend virtual concerts and roam in all places the world and visited and many other things using virtual reality on the internet will the world witness this development in the coming years and will you go to your friend in a second country and sit with him if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to receive all new